Hey guys, welcome back to my garden. Today is day 22 of our indoor deep water culture growth for our cucumber plant. This is the self-pollinating cucumber plant. As you see, it's just nothing but female flowers right here. And you can see the majority of them have already begun to blossom and, and hopefully most of them are, are pollinating themselves. Uh, I'm gonna show you an example of a couple of the very first two that didn't pollinate uh, and we'll talk about why a little bit later in the video. But for now, we'll just kind of take a look around and see just how beautiful things are looking and you can see basically just flowers and little beautiful miniature cucumbers just growing everywhere and there's a bunch of little like side shoots that are beginning to form in every single node in between like basically like the flower and the leaf and the tendril there's basically a new runner that's going to grow and that's going to be its own new vine with, with the same cycle basically going on so i don't know how long this plant is going to grow for I'm not exactly sure as far as the life cycle of this plant, not much information I have on it unfortunately, but we're going to be learning and growing uh, throughout this entire series. I'll, I'll just keep the grow going as long as I can guys, and hopefully I'll be able to harvest some seeds like I mentioned earlier. And you can see basically just like this plant is just growing all over the place and it just keeps stretching upwards when all I really wanted to do is just kind of grow down and around. So I just basically have to come in. Um, every couple of days like like so and just kind of like pull the tendrils off and adjust it and you could see I, I as well as i added um a second ten, a second tendril a second uh trellis on the side over here i just used a small cage that i had that i attached with some zip ties it seemed like um this plant is kind of spreading and crawling all over the place so i needed more space for it to grab on and you could see over here this is an example of what i mentioned the, the those were the first two flowers that um that opened up and I thought they were pollinated themselves, but unfortunately they didn't. Um, the reason why I think they didn't pollinate themselves is because um, uh, you see basically um, there's a leaf, the leaf and then the flower and then you have the tendril growing. So basically I think when the leaf doesn't grow and it kind of dies out, it, there's nothing for the plant and for the little fruit that's growing right next to it to kind of sustain itself and keep producing. So it unfortunately kind of just floats away. And that's why the, the rest of the plant doesn't seem to be affected besides that one little area. And I'll show you closer what I mean of that as well. But look at these beautiful looking flowers, guys. Absolutely gorgeous. And you could see, let me just try to zoom you guys inside a little bit, maybe kind of get a little closer. It's absolutely beautiful looking, I think. And you could see these beautiful little petals. And on the inside, I don't really see any pollen when I shake it, so it's hard to tell and it looks like there's basically one gallon left and so i think it's time for a nutrient change especially considering what the roots look like and let's open this up i'll show you guys what i mean and you can see a beautiful looking healthy white root system is, is developing and growing and you could even see in the bottom is definitely trying to spiral and, and loop around so it's definitely in, in search of of, of, new, of more nutrients and more water so we'll just kind of close that up and I only open this thing up um, when I show you guys the videos. So you can see just when I pan back how, how big this plant has grown since the last update. Um, only maybe like six days ago or something like that, I believe. I think the last update I did was um, day 16. <clears throat> and you can see the plant has grown really well, guys. I think like for the most part, it's doing, it's doing really well, minus those two initial um, flowers that I'm showing you over here. So you can see what I mean by the, the leaf basically wilted away as well as the flower and tendril and everything else around it is doing just fine. So you see what I mean over here, you have the leaf right here, then you have the cucumber basically with the flower that's growing and the tendril and as you go, go up the stem it's the same thing and in between that there's also going to be a new basically runner that grows in like a whole another branch that grows off like, like you see right there. And so I'm pretty sure that's closely related. I'm not 100% if that's accurate. If you guys, you know, know, know of a better reason, what po please post down below. It seems to be the pH is good. The PPM seems to be good. Other than, and I definitely, you know, I have the fan going, keeping things nice and cool. Kind of hard to tell. These ones seem to be pollinated. It looks like the base is nice and dark, dark and green. I remember from previous experiences that seems to be kind of like a little indicator that it seems to be have that it seems to have pollinated and beginning to kind of grow. So you can see I have a ton of cucumbers basically, or potential cucumbers I should say really, 
all over the place. So I'm really hoping I could fill this trellis in and kind of have, have a really good harvest for this year, guys. Or just kind of this season at the moment. Um, I'm also going to, I'm really debating to see if, I've never tried to to transplant and like um, take like cuttings off of a cucumber plant before, of, like, of the runners, and see if I can make that like sprout roots. So I'll, I'll see if I could do that. That'll definitely save me a lot of time instead of um, planting from seed. Probably save me like a good month and a half. And you could see that this plant is basically just running all over the place. And this is what I mentioned with the uh, runners that grow in between the leaf and flower. So you see everywhere there's basically a new runner that's beginning to kind of take off and grow on its own. And even right there you could see there's basically already a new flower and little miniature cucumber that's developing. So lifting everything up, it just looks nice and beautiful. I really enjoy growing cucumber plants, guys, and pepper plants, tomato plants, a whole variety of, of, of indoor plants that I, I enjoy to grow. So you can see it's just absolutely gorgeous. And I just want to give a quick shout out to my friend Shams over here. He has an amazing YouTube channel, guys. I, I think he um, is really like undervalued and not a lot of people seem to be finding him for some reason. So if you can, give him a check out, guys. I think he knows way more information than I do and he seems to be like not getting the views for some reason so please let's share some love and give him a check out guys he definitely knows what he's doing and his thumb is way greener and browner than mine is so and let's just get back to this so you can see the plant is doing absolutely excellent guys I'm really happy with the growth the only thing that I really want to do is just kind of like figure out what's going on uh, with the leaves a little bit some of them seem to be uh, when I kind of pan back, you could see like a little bit yellowing. And that's probably due to the fact that the nutrients are running low. And since it is flowering, it's definitely probably the majority of, of the nutrients have been already absorbed from, from the inside of the container just to get to this, this stage. So I think it's time to swap it out and I'm going to do that later tonight. Hopefully I don't have too much trouble. And I'm just showing you guys the grow lights that I'm using. This is a 4 foot T5 grow light. So nothing special, but it seems to be doing really well indoors, guys. And I'm really happy with the growth. And you can see it's basically growing right underneath the plant. And it, the plant is just kind of pushed over to the side. So the whole thing seems to be absorbing really well. So as always, guys, if you like the episode, please hit that thumbs up. Thanks for watching.